Hey guys, what's up? It's Draven. Welcome back to another mom vlog. This mom vlog is going to basically be all about preparing for Zaya's second birthday. Yes, she is turning two. A lot of you guys thought that she was already two, about to turn three, or even already three, but no, she is turning two. And tomorrow for Friday, she's actually gonna be having like a little party celebration thing for her birthday at um, her school, at the preschool. So I am bringing a pinata and a cake to school tomorrow. Last year I filmed her birthday party. It was like kind of a shimmer and shine, genie, genie in a bottle themed first birthday. Last year I paid a lot of money for a big old giant professional heavily decorated genie themed birthday cake. I'll put a picture of it right here. This year, my mom and I are actually going to try and decorate our own cake for Zaya. I'm gonna do the really popular unicorn cake that I know you guys have probably seen. Um, I'm gonna try and actually do that myself, so that's what you guys are gonna see later in this vlog. Right now, I am opening this package which has the pinata that I'm gonna be bringing to her school tomorrow. So yeah, basically it's gonna be a unicorn theme this year for her second birthday. So I got a unicorn pinata, I just ordered it off of Amazon. They actually had a unicorn pinata at Target that I also bought, it's in my trunk. I don't know why I ordered one and then also bought one from Target. One of them is for the school for them to destroy it. The other one is for her actual party on Saturday to kind of like take pictures with, I guess. You like that? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Don't break, oh no, don't break it before we even bring it to school. So yeah, it's basically a unicorn theme. I We're making the unicorn cake, which you're gonna see, like I said in this video, I got the unicorn pinata, I got the other unicorn pinata, I also got some other unicorn, everything is unicorn. Unicorn plates, unicorn napkins. She has a unicorn uh, outfit that she's gonna wear to, not, well, it's a unicorn, it's a shirt with unicorns on it, a sparkly skirt that she has, and I even got this, look, she's carrying the pinata around. Be careful with it because we gotta save it for tomorrow. I went to Party City and I got a bunch of little like party favors, like small plastic toys, not too small, nothing like choking hazard. But I got all these little toys and bubbles and um, like toy cars and stuff because this is what I'm actually gonna be putting in the pinata because for school they don't want you to like bring candy or anything for the kids. Uh-oh, Zaya saw me talking about the toys. It's for tomorrow. You can't have it right now. You're gonna get it tomorrow at school and you have to share it with your friends, okay? No crying. You're gonna get some tomorrow. It's your birthday, so of course you're gonna get some, but you just have to wait. But yeah, so I got all the little party favors. It's like slinkies, bouncy balls, bubbles little crayons and stuff. So this is what's going to fill up the pinata. Unicorn, yeah. And then at Party City, they had like a whole unicorn section. So I got this little headband that she can wear because you're the birthday girl. So I'm gonna see if she wants to wear that to school tomorrow. If not, I'll just use it for some pictures the next day. Your little hair clip is just hanging out the back of your head. So I also just got a couple of these little fancy gold and pastel unicorn plates and some matching napkins. Look how cute these napkins are. Tomorrow, Friday, she's gonna have a pinata and cake at school. And then the next day, Saturday, we're just going to have a very, very small get together to have cake and open presents just at my mom's house with family. I don't even think really any friends or extra people are going to come because I didn't really like invite people. It's really not a party. It's just like an opportunity to have cake and open presents and take pictures. She has a really cute dress that um, she's gonna wear. And like I said, I got a few little like unicorn themed props so I can just kind of do like a second birthday photo shoot, but it's really not a party. Sorry to disappoint if any of you guys thought that I was gonna be doing some big party. Last year, I just kind of realized like, I mean, I'm glad I did more of a big party last year because it was her first birthday, but for this year, like I just didn't see the point in doing some big thing that like, it's not really even for her because you know, she doesn't necessarily have friends of her own yet. She doesn't have 
things that she's into yet, you know what I mean? It's gonna be a little bit later down the line when I actually do big birthday parties for her and her friends doing things that they love to do that they're into. So I'm excited for the future to do really big, fun, you know, big birthday parties. But for now, it's kind of like, she doesn't know what's going on and you know last year she was really overwhelmed by the birthday party it was just a bunch of adults we had like one kid and you know everybody was all up in her face i just felt like i'm having this big party but like who is the party really for it was like the party was really for me and the other adults who came so this year i just wanted to do something small get some cute stuff that she would enjoy get some stuff for her friends at school so that they can enjoy the pinata and the cake and have a fun school day um but other than that i think we're going to take her to this little we wanted to go to the zoo that was the big plan is to just do something small at my mom's house and then take her to the zoo that way she can do something that you know she enjoys and just taking her by herself but it's gonna be bad weather i think so we decided to go to an indoor it's like an indoor kids activity jump around play around type place so i think we're gonna take her there instead and just let her have fun and actually do something fun instead of like throwing her into this big party scenario if that makes sense hopefully that makes sense oh and i also ended up just going crazy with the unicorn stuff i just started getting a whole bunch of stuff i don't even know if she's gonna end up you know actually using or wearing this for her birthday but i just got a plain uh t-shirt that kind of matched the color scheme from old navy as well as these really cute like kind of sparkly pink leggings also from old navy from Target, I got these Cat and Jack socks that just kind of matched the color scheme. She just needed more socks, honestly, but they do kind of match the color scheme. What are you doing? There's nothing in there for you. It's empty. And then at Carter's, they had these unicorn pajamas, which just went perfectly with everything. So I kind of just got that just as, you know, I guess it's just an extra birthday present. But look how cute, the little polka dot shorts. And then the other unicorn pants. And then also at Carter's, they had this little princess dress, short sleeve with rhinestones right here, and then it goes into like a little tutu. So this is kind of a plan B because she has another princess dress, but when we tried it on, she said it was really itchy and she didn't want to wear it. So this is like a more comfortable version, so we might have to use this one instead. Wow. Where is the hole? Where do you put the stuff in? having birthdays and stuff with little kids is you have to hide everything leading up to it because they're gonna want it when they see it and not understand about waiting until your birthday. Same thing for Christmas. I had to hide everything, but now I'm trying to do this and she's watching me. It's not for right now, it's for tomorrow, okay? Can you wait till tomorrow? Yes, we've got bouncy balls, bubbles, to share it with your friends tomorrow. Yeah, you want to help me? You take one and put it in the hole. Good job. Here, can you get them and help me put it in here? Put it in there. Some crayons. Good job. Thank you. This is how you learn to share with your friends on your birthday. Because even though it's your birthday, that doesn't mean you should just keep all the toys. You should share and let everybody else have some and have some fun too on your birthday. They had little unicorn erasers. It was like living out a childhood dream at Party City when I was buying all of this stuff because it was like, I remember going to Party City as a kid and seeing all the little toys, the little party favors and stuff and just wanting everything. And of course my mom would tell me like, no, you don't need that or no, we're only getting X, Y, and Z for your party. But this time, I was able to go in there and just literally get whatever I wanted. Of course, it's not for me to keep, but it was just, I was in there just like, you get in the car, you get in the car, we're getting this, we're getting that, we're getting the unicorns, we're getting the cars, we're getting the clappy hands, we're getting all the toys. And I would've went even more crazy if I was actually getting candy to go in here. I would've cleaned out that candy aisle. So yeah, they, they allow us to bring a cake, but they just didn't want me to also put candy in the pinata, because they try to like cut back on, you know, handing out candy and sweets and stuff at the school. 
Which I think that's good, and I think it's nice for the kids to get like little toys that they can actually keep and play with, mm -hmm. rather than just loading them up on cake and candy. Look, little pigs. How cute. All right guys, so it is Friday. I'm on my way back to Zaya's school. I got the unicorn pinata in the passenger seat and um, my mom and also Ashley, since Ashley's in town, is gonna meet me at the school as well. My mom actually has the cake. And yeah, so I dropped Zaya off this morning at her normal time just so you can have like a normal morning at school and then um, I'm just bringing the pinata and the cake and we gonna have a little small mini school party I see your cake it's a rainbow it's your birthday do you know that this cake is for you the cake in the pinata it's for you Oh my goodness! It's so cute. I love your unicorn headband. And you got your unicorn shirt on. I don't know if anybody noticed. Look how pretty. Do you want to do the pinata? Remember we put all the toys in there? Now we can get them out. Right. So that way there's another rope. Okay. Somebody took the rope. We're going to get it in a minute. We're going to hang it up. Oh, the she helped me put the thing Aww. together. Wait, wait, wait. ¿Qué crees? Okay. ¿Ya lo logré? Yeah. Okay. Let's look. Vamos a, vamos a cantar. Hoy es el cumpleaños. Desaya, desaya. We're going to hit it and then the toys will come out. <laughs> it's okay, look, watch, it's gonna be good. Oh, yes, I cumpleaños. Desaya, desaya. Oh, yes, I cumpleaños. Y ya cumple con. Y ya cumple con. Marcos, cada vez que se mueve, vamos a cantar para la piñata, ¿ok? Ten. Y vamos a cantar la saya. Dos manos, saya. ¿Listos? Una, dos, tres. Dale, dale, dale. No pierdas el vino. Porque si lo pierdes, pierdes el camino. Una, oh, yeah. dos, tres. Oh. Una más allá. Venga, una más. You do una it. más. Get it. Aquí con tu palo. Aquí. Sas. Otra vez. Pégale. Sas. Good job. Otra vez. Sas. You don't understand what the piñata is? You think they're breaking your thing? Una, dos, Yay! There we go! Yay! Yay! You gotta go get the toys, Saya! Get the toys! You can go! Look right here! Look! Yay! There you go! What did you get? Bubbles? No, 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 no. no toco, Brandon. No toco. Amores, ya, calentas, manos. Hey, I saw you do that. Mariela, manos. Lávate las manos, Mariela. I love the bad one. Zaya. Super piñata. ¿Listos? ¿Listos? Le decimos. Hoy, hoy es el cumpleaños de Zaya. De Zaya. Hoy es el cumpleaños y ya cumple dos. ¿Alguien más te quiere decir algo hermoso? ¿Qué me licante? Oh, ama tu pastel, ¿escuchaste? She loves your cake, Saya. Marcela, ¿qué le quieres decir a Saya? Me su pastel y le amo. Ay, qué aman, Saya. Mariela le tiene algo a Saya. ¿Ah, sí? Sí. Oh yeah, that's her birthday card, I think. No, qué bonito, Saya. Okay, listo, feliz cumpleaños a ti. Feliz cumpleaños a ti. Feliz cumpleaños a Saya. Feliz cumpleaños. Happy birthday! 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 Happ
birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Y qué queremos? Queremos pastel, pastel, pastel. Queremos pastel, pastel, pastel. Yummy. Yo quiero. All right, so we finished up at Zaya's school. It was really quick. Of course, Zaya cried and got overwhelmed and was like, what is going on? But that's okay. She will get used to it over the years. And I think that was just enough you know, birthday party action for her this year. You can see how like anything more than that, if I would've threw a big party, she would've just lost it and not enjoyed it. So I think that was just enough. Plus, you know, cutting the cake at my mom's house tomorrow, which by the way, I just pulled up to Michael's craft store. Um, my mom and my sister um, are meeting me here as well because we are going to go ahead and buy the cake supplies for this DIY unicorn cake that we're gonna be trying to make this afternoon. So, here we go, wish us luck. Okay, so I think my mom and my sister are already in here. Where is the cake aisle? Hello? Right. We need fondant for the um, horn. I don't know if we need this much to see if there's a smaller package. Do we need the cake board? Uh, no, it's already on a gold board. Okay. I'm making the horn stand up. You need a little special? stick, I have a, um, I have like a skewer, a wooden skewer. skewer. I, have a, I have skewers. To be more professional, these little actual stick things, but I think a wooden skewer would work just as well. Yeah, yeah this is more of the decorate sprinkly so, stuff. I, I like these little stars. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, no, I was thinking of... Those are not like shiny. Stars. Oh, those are cute. I like these. They're like actually shiny. Those are like orange. These are a dollar. These are seven ninety nine. Oh, let me see. We make these seven ninety nine. I don't know. <laughs> Cause they're real gold. No, not really. I wish y'all would have told me. I got a whole slab of food coloring. <laughs> Why? And cake decorating stuff. I got a whole box of cake decorating. Really? All the tips and everything. Everything. All of it. Why do you have that? You make cakes? No. <laughs> the only cake that I make does not require. Cake decorating stuff. You're doing too much. German chocolate cake. You're doing too much. These are no, expensive, but they're is, nice. This oh, this is the girl. Yeah, That's her is. YouTube. This is the YouTuber who. I wonder if the cake is in this book. Rosanna Pancino. We're gonna be trying to follow her YouTube tutorial to make this unicorn cake. I don't know if it's in here. That's cool though. Oh, she has her own. I didn't know she had all this stuff. She has her own cake decorating. All this stuff is her brand. Oh wow. Oh, that's cool. So this is pink and purple in here, candy colors, but I mean, just a little bit of red makes pink, right? Yeah, you don't need green. Either. So what do we need? You could probably just get because these are from HEB. Yeah. yeah, if you're talking about just the basic food coloring and just mixing the basic colors together into the icing. But then they have these mm -hmm. icing colors that are more like different shades of stuff. So we don't need that. We'll just go to H E B and get. You sure? Yeah, we'll just get regular three colored HEB. Those are pretty, those are like $10 each. I have all the, the, I have the decorating bags. Like I have this, but the tips, I bought my tips with me because it don't look like something is missing. I have these, but I don't have the thing that screws on to hold them on the. There's two different says, kinds, I think. You put the, you screw this in and then you put this on. But I don't have that. This is the part that goes on the inside. If you take this silver one and put it through here, it ain't gonna work. Yeah, because they're all different this sizes. This silver one and put it through here. It's barely gonna work. So I don't know. I think we need to start over with the tips. I think oh we need gosh. to just get. Okay, but here's the thing. They, it all comes separate anyway, so we still don't know what we're talking about or no. what we need. No, no, no. Well, where's okay. the thing? Hold on. It all, it's got the adapters, it's got the thing, so it's got I've this, got... but it's all separate. Let me show you what I've got at the house, and it's a it's a set. There were some little things over here. 
that look a little bit more beginner friendly, Rosanna Pancino. So I guess you just put the tip inside the bag and you don't worry I think you do, I think you do have what we need, but we need to look up how to use it. And we types. probably don't need to buy this. You probably do have stuff in there that's usable. Got the goods. It was only like $22, I think. And then the actual cake that we ordered to cheat the process of not having to bake the cake was, you said $29? Uh-huh. $29, so. And ordering a unicorn cake, like a custom unicorn cake, fully made, it was like $150 to $200, so. Hopefully it comes out good, but at least we saved some money. Wait, Ashley, bring your foot over here. <laughs> no, you yes. White toe gang. <laughs> Back from school now, and we're at Grammy's house, getting ready to decorate the cake. I don't know if we got a good shot of Zaya's little school birthday outfit. Wow, do you feel cute? Oh, and you, your, your water bottle even matches your outfit. All pink, everything. Okay, so we're in my mom's kitchen. We have compiled all of our decorating utensils and ingredients. We're gonna be making our own buttercream. Well, I guess I'm going to be making my own. <laughs> my mom says she's not helping me. <laughs> buttercream frosting, which is just powdered sugar, vanilla, butter, and a little bit of milk. Um, we've got the pure lemon extract, which is actually what you mix with the gold pearl dust to make it like a little paint. And we just got a regular little paint brush at Michael's to paint that on with. Uh, got a couple of options for candles. Not sure if we're going to use them or which ones we're going to use. And we've got fondant. This is what's going to make the unicorns horn, the ears, and little star details I'm gonna put on there. Also got the um, decorating tips for the icing. My mom had some already, but we got one extra one. These are the bags for that. This is the special fondant rolling pin to roll this out with. Cookie cutters. I got these really expensive gold star sprinkles to sprinkle on. We got the skewer to make the base for the unicorn horn. We've got food coloring to mix up some pastel colors for the frosting. And I went ahead and got this black sparkle gel icing to just draw the eyelashes on with. So we'll see how that goes. All right, so four cups of sifted powdered sugar. We're gonna go ahead and use the big stand mixer to mix this up. This is how you soften butter. That's not how you soften butter. <laughs> Just use your body heat. One stick of butter. Two sticks of butter. Working on all this powdered sugar. Ooh, this is, look at that. One more cup. The struggle. Yay. So we're gonna try and mix together a very light pink color, a light lavender color, and like a light mint green color with just using our, you know, basic food coloring. So hopefully we can just get tiny amounts of food coloring so it'll be pastel because I don't want it to be like actual rainbow. All right, so we got our buttercream frosting all mixed up. Looking good, dividing it into three bowls for coloring. There's several photos online that kind of go with the same idea, but this is a good one to kind of represent our color scheme. So we're making these pastel colors and I'm gonna put it into different piping bags. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so first color I'm gonna make is pink because that should be the easiest. Oh, no, 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 don't pour it. No. But it doesn't, it's liquid. He Still, take, where's the toothpick? Pour in something else and then use the toothpick too. Here, what is this? You ain't gonna waste it, just pull it out. I, it won't, I'm trying to, there it's hard. <laughs> Starting with this amount. There. I think that's uh, not no. gonna be enough. One drop, oh. one drop. Wait, one wait, drop. wait, 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 one, two, three. <laughs> okay, now just start I think with we could've just did okay, one there. drop. Oh, there we go. Start with your toothpick. Oh, I was just trying to get all the coloring that I had on this toothpick. It's very, 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 very light. Pink. Okay, we need more. Oh God, that's good. That'll be good. Okay, pink. Not a pink. To make light purple is to technically be a half a drop of blue and a half about a drop of green. Green. <laughs> I mean, <a> red. <laughs> <laughs> to make purple, you need a tiny drop of red and a tiny drop of blue. 
know if that's gonna be. Boop. Okay, all right, all right let's see. Mm -mm. <laughs> I think it is. That is, it's turning into purple. It's all the dyes right here. I don't think the spoon works better. Oh, love. Okay, so we'll be back after we finish this because uh, this is taking okay, forever. Okay, 10 drops of red. All right, so we discovered that there's actually food coloring like recipes online to tell you exactly how many drops to make every kind of color you want to make. Frost by numbers. Uh, so we got smart. We figured out what it was for purple. I mean, we kind of already messed up our purple and then tried to fix it, so it's not the best. <laughs> but this one came out really good. It's a pretty color. So we made that with just using these food coloring. So now we actually have to go get the cake out of the fridge and start decorating it. Look, we're so professional. I need to have, uh, we need to get that stand. No, you don't. You just need a cup. There. Well, I love innovative. It. So innovative. I highly doubt I'm the first person to think of this, but here's a little tip for you. Just use a glass to hold your icing bag. It can hold it after you're done with it, but it can also be used to just prop it up, put your bag inside so that you can scrape your icing and go ahead and put it in there. So this is the cake we had made at HEB. We just asked for, a, it's vanilla, right? Mm -hmm. Just a vanilla cake in this. Raspberry filling. Oh, it has raspberry filling, but we just asked for this specific, specific, <laughs> specific shape and size and then just with white frosting. And they did a pretty smooth job of frosting it, so we're not gonna put fondant around it because we would totally mess that up, I'm pretty sure. So we're just gonna leave it like this. Hello. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Raven's Cooking Show. I'm about to attempt to ice rosettes to make the unicorn mane. It's gonna go like a little bang in the front, and they go on the top and then swoop around the side with all these three different colors. Our purple kind of looks a little bit gray, but that's okay. I've got different types of tips on each one, so it'll make a different swirl. Um, let me test it on this napkin first. That's cute. Well, That's beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna start with the little front thing on the front right here. Perfect. First little thing, then I'm gonna do one on either side. So now you can kind of see, like, this is the bang, and it swoops around. Now I'm going to fill it in with the different one. nice okay so the ice cake is in the refrigerator and now for the fondant stuff we just bought a pack of white fondant I'm gonna open that up I just need to make a snake for the horn but I need yeah. to make a flat thing for the stars so. so you're supposed to make it skinny to thick so that it makes like the shape but if you're cold, okay, I'll hold one end. You gotta roll down the end. Don't roll it so hard, baby. Run it thicker on that end? I think this is the max thickness. So then this part needs so to be needs thinner. To thin. No, I want no, this, this one, is I the want, max. We're trying to make this, this way thinner than that. Thinner. I need this, I need this part. Much, much thinner now. No, 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 because I, I want, I don't want this. I'm rolling out some flat pieces so I can cut some stars out, which I guess we're still using. Ooh, look at that satisfying smooth fondant. And you can always just push. Yeah, wait, hold on. Yeah. We're forming. We're forming as we go. You gotta, you gotta make it tighter. Well. Hold on. So we'll just start over. No, 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 no. No. no, 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 no. 
<laughs> Too many cooks in the kitchen. So I'm currently painting our little fondant stars and the unicorn horn that we made with fondant with a mixture of the gold pearl dust and the lemon extract to make a little paint, but I don't like how it doesn't really look very metallic or sparkly on its own. It kind of just looks yellow. So I went and got some disco dust. This is holographic, where's the bottle? Here it is. Holographic disco dust is basically just like glitter and that's what it looks like on its own. So I'm gonna do a combination of painting it with the gold pearl dust and then sprinkling a little glitter on top to give it some more sparkle. And these are the ears that I just shaped out of fondant. I just cut out the shape just kind of freehand. They're a little rough, but it's okay. And I painted them. All right, cake out of the fridge. Here's the best we could do with the horn. That's good. It's not the exact gold metallic I was hoping for, but. It's very pretty. The icing's hard it. now. So That's okay. Like I mean, you can pipe around it if you want to. It's too, I can't. It's too. The icing's hard, so I need force to actually. So push. It's really hard. Like. I think if you pipe, a, if you pipe around it and then, it and, and then out. adjust it, or you could scrape the the icing off in the bottle. You're gonna send it like remove the horn. All right, here we go. We're having to do surgery on the unicorn. <laughs> now. Towards you, towards you. Towards you a little bit, right. Yeah, let's just scrape that. You got more pipe icing to pipe right over yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. Don't be scared with it. Do a big one. Okay, so the ears are on. They're, you know, a little wonky, but it's okay. Uh, now we have these little stars, which I really wasn't sure exactly where or how I wanted to place them. I kind of like it without the stars, to be honest. The icing's hardened now, so it's hard to place them. finale which is to draw the eyes on with this gel stuff I just practiced it over here that's pretty much what I'm going for for the little eyelashes so this is one try you can't scrape this off so here we go Lord I'm scared just go nice and slow oh that's perfect that's perfect Okay. Perfecto, baby. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, I like it as is. I feel like we don't really need them, even though they were eight dollars. Well, you can take them back. They're not open. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we don't need it. Yep. Unicorn. Look, boo boo. If you can, it's a unicorn, boo boo. You know what a unicorn is? Is that pretty? Yeah, I've been wearing my unicorn hat all day today. It's got one big horn, like a unicorn. One big horn, like a unicorn. Okay, so this is the finished cake. I'm pretty proud of my creation, even though we cheated on the cake base. I feel like the hard part, the real hard part was decorating it. And um, I think the icing swirls came out really good. The gold metallic effect turned out to be pretty cool, even though it wasn't what I originally had in mind. And surprisingly, I was able to put the eyes on there pretty good. So I think it came out really cute. I love the color scheme and 
I mean, I had fun making it. It was kind of stressful <laughs> getting all the supplies and stuff, but I had fun. So comment down below. Let me know if you think I nailed it or failed it. And um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for this vlog. You guys will see part two, which will be us actually cutting this cake and celebrating her birthday tomorrow. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But that's it for this vlog. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.